If I were to ask you what year your RV is, how long would it take you to answer? How about if I asked you the make and model? You could probably answer those three questions as quickly as I can say 2005 Newmar Mountain Air. But how about if I asked you how tall it is, how long would it take you to answer? More than a few seconds? If so, you could end up like this. Have you ever driven your RV down a country road and spotted an overpass, but you weren't 100% sure you'd fit under it? Did you keep driving anyway? What was that clearance again? Was there even a clearance sign, but you missed it? If you're not sure, you've probably experienced that heart-pounding fear at least once as you got closer and closer to an overpass, slowed down, unsure what to do, and waited for the lack of a crash to figure out if you'll fit. Besides paying attention to clearance signs, every RVer needs to know their rig's height by heart, even if it means putting it on a post-it note on the dashboard. Striking a low overpass is a horrible self-inflicted wound, but an easy one to avoid. There are lots of ways to measure your RV, but here's a simple technique using items you probably already have around. Start by parking on a reasonably level surface. If you have leveling jacks, make sure they're not deployed. You'll need a straight edge that's at least a few feet long, like the yellow pole we use to wash our rig. You'll also need a tape measure and some adhesive tape. We're using this white electrical tape, but you can use just about any kind. Up on the roof, extend the tape measure about a foot or so and tape it to the wash pole. Position the end of the tape measure directly against the side of the pole. Pull the tape out about 10 feet or so and lock it. Then lower it over the side of the RV and lay the pole flat on the roof. We hang the tape about a foot away from the side of the RV. It's important to make sure that the end of the tape is pressed directly against the pole with no gap in between. If we're working alone, we can head down the ladder or we can have a helper on the ground. Extend the tape to the pavement and lock it in place. A close look shows a measurement of exactly 130 and 7 eighths inches. We'll round that up just slightly to 131 inches, but don't forget to include the length of the tape measure body. Ours adds an additional 3 inches. That brings the total height of our RV to 134 inches, or 11 foot 2 but that's just the top of the roof itself. What about all that stuff sticking up above it? From solar panels and roof vents, to air conditioners and antennas, there are plenty of things up there that could get knocked off by a low overpass, as we've already seen. It's easy to spot the highest point. Just sight along the roof and it will be pretty obvious. Or you can measure the height of individual items. For years, our high point was the same as on most RVs our air conditioners, which are 11 inches tall. Our roof is 134 inches, plus 11 more for our air conditioners for a total of 145 inches, or 12 foot 1. Our standard operating procedure has always been to try to avoid clearances under 13 feet whenever possible. That gives us some additional room for any fresh pavement that's been added since the sign was posted, plus a little extra as an added safety margin. A little over a year ago, we added a WeBoost cellular booster and installed the optional OTR antenna. Even though it's now the tallest thing on our roof, the system works so well, we have no problem being a little taller as a result. We simply measured the height of the antenna above the roof of the RV. It's 20 inches tall. When added to our rigs 134 inches, that brings us up to a new height of 154 inches or 12 foot 10. Even so, we've kept our standard 13-foot minimum clearance rule in place. Although that only leaves 2 inches to spare, the antenna is equipped with a spring, allowing it to flex out of the way if needed. If we drove under anything as low as 13 feet, we'd take it really slow just in case. So know your height, keep alert for low clearance signs, and if you travel to Canada or Mexico, be sure you know how tall you are in meters too.
Our 12 foot 10 inch rig is 3.92 meters, so it's easy for us to remember our minimum comfort level. 13 feet in the States, 4 meters in Canada and Mexico. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on channel notifications. And be sure to keep a cool head so you don't end up like this guy. Safe travels and thanks for watching.